There is new information about the impending volcanic eruption in Iceland. I promise you, this original footage of the situation on the ground will blow your mind. Be sure to stay tuned to find out how high the danger of an eruption is in the next few days, and if you like it, I'm galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the algorithm to show this exciting topic to even more people. Thanks guys and welcome. Iceland, the land of ice and fire, glaciers and volcanoes, rough Atlantic seas and spectacular wastelands. And the rotten shark meat, yuck. And for a few days now, the eruption of a volcano in the southwest of the country near the municipality of Grindavik has been eagerly awaited. I explained the basic information about this eruption a few days ago in this video. Click on it if you're hearing about this story for the first time today. Yes, it hasn't erupted yet and today we'll take a look at how the situation has developed and whether it will go boom soon. The alarming events began on October 25th, when an unusually high level of seismic activity was recorded on the Rijkjanis Peninsula, even by Icelandic standards. Within a few hours, more than 1,000 earthquakes were recorded, including two strong ones with magnitudes of 3.9 and 4.5. These events indicated an underground magma movement and the inhabitants of the town of Grindavik were quickly evacuated. To this day they are not allowed to return and the Icelandic Meteorological Authority has now extended the danger zone even further. But the threat level in the region was lowered last Thursday. I can hear some of you breathing a sigh of relief. Thank God, that's peace, joy and pancakes. Not really. The lowering of the threat level is more to allow residents to return to the city for a little longer to recover their valuables. So far, people have only been given a very short period of time to do this and many of the Grindavian exiles still have their belongings in the village. And because the danger is still so great, some of the inhabitants decide not to take this opportunity to return or even to move away completely. This couple here has just had a baby and says, while I fully understand people wanting to return whenever possible, and I feel a strong urge to do so myself, we want to find a stable home for us and our newborn child. Understandable, and the situation is still hot. Here you can see a destroyed street in the village that was the victim of a ground rupture caused by seismic activity. In other places, volcanic gases are already seeping out of the ground, as you can see here. The main problem is that the eruption can happen so quickly that you can hardly see it coming. Experts have recently pointed out that the current conditions make it difficult to accurately predict the timing of a possible volcanic eruption, as the unusually rapid seismic activity only allows a few minutes warning time before an eruption could occur. The situation is made even trickier by violent storms in Iceland, which make visual observation difficult. Vida Rianesen, head of the Civil Protection Authority said, The challenge is that we will not see clear evidence that the magma is rising. We will see some small earthquakes and at best we can see that they are likely to form in one place rather than another. However, there are other experts who now believe that the longer the eruption does not occur, the less danger it poses. The Icelandic Meteorological Office comments as follows. As the deformation, seismic activity and inflow into the magma tunnel continue to decrease, the probability of an eruption decreases over time. The probability of a sudden eruption within the city limits of Grindavik is currently classified as low. So now we have expert opinion versus expert opinion. What do we have experts for then? Let me know in the comments how you would behave if you lived in Grindavik. Would you do like the couple from just now and move away completely? Or would you say, volcano or not, this is my home? I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments. Regardless of who is right, measures are already being taken just in case. The Icelandic authorities have announced that they are planning to pump water onto the lava in the event of a volcanic eruption on the Rijkjanis Peninsula. This will help to cool the lava flow and control its probable spread towards Grindavik. Iceland already has good experience with this. A very powerful water pump was already successfully used in 1973 to contain the spread of lava that had erupted from a fissure on the island of Jaime off the south coast of Iceland. So in Iceland they use water pumps successfully, while in Germany they install heat pumps without success. Oh, let's not go there. In any case, this method was used to actively try to protect important infrastructure. But now comes a big, but, of course, this assumes that the eruption doesn't happen inside Grindavik, in which case there would be nothing left to save. So now we have three potential scenarios to prepare for. Either there is no eruption at all, the rising magma calms down again and solidifies underground in the fissures it has already formed, this would be the best case. Or an eruption occurs outside Grindavik, in which case an attempt could be made to prevent major damage by cooling the lava and diverting it. 
or there is an eruption in the middle of Grindavik, which would be the worst case. What are the chances for each variant? This is difficult to say due to the unpredictability of a volcanic system, but let's keep in mind that every day that nothing happens is a good sign. The ground is still rising in the entire Zvarzenji volcano area, which is also home to the famous Blue Lagoon, and the magma continues to move. But the fact that the authorities are now allowing people to return for longer suggests that optimism is slowly growing. I will of course keep you informed if anything happens, but you can only do that if you subscribe to my channel, otherwise you'll miss it. And I know from the YouTube statistics that a huge number of people watch my videos but haven't subscribed. It's absolutely free. You won't miss any more galactic videos and it helps me immensely. So win-win, therefore all non-subscribers, press the subscribe button now. The much bigger volcanic threat lurks beneath Italy near Naples. The Phlegrean fields are located there and if they blow up, the entire continent could sink into an ice age. In recent weeks, the Campi Phlegria have become increasingly active and volcanologists are extremely concerned. If you want to know how high the danger is and see spectacular original footage of this immense volcanic system, then click on the video below. And if you want to support my work and get ready for Christmas, be sure to visit my Astro Shop. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care guys.